Bit of fire money, guys. I'll clip the edge of the eyes on it. Drag it back, and you know they're going to bend the up. Yeah. Pop the point to the up. Yeah. It's only reason I'm, I'm putting it on. Good morning all, um, what we got? It's just after 20 past nine. We're the second day into a new month, which is February, our first session of this month. And uh, we're back down our local water to do it all again. And once again, we're greeted with the dreaded lid on the lake. Uh, been here about I don't know, just over an hour, maybe hour and a half. Uh, one angler did actually come down and shook his head straight away, got back in the car and drove off. And we've managed to uh, get through the ice. Uh, we're on the big lake again. We normally uh, plumb for that far bank there. But we're, uh, we're on the opposite side of the lake, on the right hand bank. Two areas where certainly me and Matt uh, I've, I've caught from, literally about two rod lengths from, uh, from this bank. So uh, we've managed to get, um, as I say, two rods in. It's been a bit of a challenge. The ice isn't as thick as it was, what, three, maybe four weeks ago when we came down here and fished the, uh, the lake at the back. But uh, we've managed to get rods in. There was a match near yesterday, uh, one of the silverfish matches, but it's sod's law on it. My day off from work and Mark's managed to get a day off from, from his job. Um, it'd be nice to think that the ice will disappear during the uh, duration of the session and we can get out a little bit further but what will be will, will be um, using all of his baits the left uh, left hander I've got a, a chod rig on with uh, a bait I've been doing quite well on here in the recent uh, sessions I've done that's uh, one of me uh, washed out pink crab up, uh, crab up baits which is uh, on the chod here, as I said and the right hander is uh, on the ever faithful snowman 
And I've started off with one of Nashi's amber strawberries. A real good uh, winter combination, that one. Done well on that on various waters. So uh, I brought some of my own with me, some CM2, which I've done done well on here as well. Certainly the last uh, three or four sessions. But I'll start off with a white bait on that snowman presentation and uh, see how the, uh, the session pans out. Is that now, mate? <laughs> Fourth, I think. Oh, oh God. Uh, I don't think this ice is going to leave us today, mate, dear. Well, it closed in for a bit, didn't it? Um, it's drifted away slightly because we've uh, coaxed a couple of ducks over yeah. with a bit of bread and um, have cleared the um, ice spots forming over the spots we cleared this morning. Um, no is the answer. It's, it's certainly not going to abate. Uh, not enough to get a rod where we ideally want them yep. for today. But, uh, the sun's doing its best to come through but it's just too overcast. Yeah. And there's a little bit of breeze but not enough. It's just... Nowhere near enough is there. We uh, really are up against it but... I don't know. We're, we're soldiering on mate. That's it innit? We're trying I mean, to stay positive but... Uh, yeah. It's grim. You just want something just to give you a little bit of a, a spark or just a little bit of inspiration, you know, a bleep or a liner or drop back or just something, the tip to go over mm. or, God, see a fish. But saying that, there's been a few roach. Mind you, this venue has got a good head of silver fish in it, but there has been a few roach uh, darting in the little gaps where we've managed to clear the ice. But um, I don't know, but incidentally, the rods haven't. We haven't moved them at all, have you, mate? Just oh, we can't get them back in, really. Nah, there's it's no need, is it? Not without breaking the um, ice again with the... So... With the rope, and we don't really want to disturb it again, so I think we're just going to have to sit tight and just hope where we put them in this morning um, brings the rewards, really. Yep. Yep. Incidentally, you did a, an air temperature reading around about two, two and a half hours ago, and mm. what did you get a degree? It was 1.2 degrees, so... <sighs> I think they did say that was going to be the high, so <laughs> it's not really a high, but um, I hope we'll persevere and see whether we can manage to strangle one. If we can get one out of here today, I mean, it'd be phenomenal, really. Yep. So, you we just, didn't manage it last time we tried, but... No, I, I mean, yeah, but we're on this lake, which has got a lot more fish in it. Yeah. Um, we're in good areas because we've caught from... Yeah, all the years that we've been fishing mm. on this particular venue, uh, as the robin just darts underneath my rods. <laughs> He's feeding, isn't he? He certainly is. Well, we've had a good um, display of uh, wildlife. We've had the Aaron trying to break the yeah. ice to catch a few fish. Yeah, I've got a few uh, clips of uh, the wildlife uh, throughout this blog. Um, yeah. As we've talked to you now, we've got a robin just on the perch on the edge of the uh, of the stage in here, and yeah. uh, I've been flicking him a few boilies and. It's a podgy old thing, isn't it? He's, uh, he's well and truly enjoying them. Mm. And uh, as Mark said, there was a heron. Uh, God, how many magpies have you counted? About eight? Yeah, and then we've had several seagulls. And we even managed to coax a duck over. And, uh, he's cleared our bread up. So uh, this, this blog's more of uh, a country fall blog than it is a carp blog. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, you just want to uh, zoom in on the areas we're trying to fish. Mm -hmm. And um, People have seen how the ice has formed back over the uh, where we cleared this morning. Yep, I'll do that now. I'm just going to put my coffee down, folks. And as Mark just said, I'll zoom round and you can have a look at what we tried to create and what he's uh, slowly closing in on again. So, uh, yep, we'll do that now. Okay, then you can probably see well, that's a nice uh, landmark there with that seagull on the edge of the ice there. Uh, Mark's managed to create quite a biggish patch in front of him but uh, if my tripod allows I'll just swing it around a bit that's where I'm fishing and it was roughly the same size the gap that I created to Mark's but uh, the last two and a half hours it started to close in a bit on me so I'm really struggling the uh, the chod rig <laughs> all that line is the submerged under under ice now so whether that's going to come back cleanly if I uh, do intend to respot before we leave today who knows but uh yeah really up against it today folks
Incidentally, you did clear your spot um, before. Yeah, I, I was the first one to do mine, so yeah, maybe so that's that's gone against me, not. Yeah, potentially that half hour when it was still quite cool this morning, it, it, it has uh, skinned back over again. But um, I, I do think it will melt in the next sort of hour, where, where we cleared this morning, with that bit of breeze now, so. But we're going to stick it out, mate, and the nights are slowly drawing out, so we've we'll, we'll got to about, around about five-ish or maybe just after, so you just never know, do you? No. That little, uh, first little 20, 10, 15 minutes into dark could just be the one, but... Uh, Let's hope it happens before then. I don't know, I think I'm clutching at straws, really. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something positive to say. <laughs> yeah, because it is, for, since that little breeze has picked up, it's really, the air temperature just feels colder than it was before. And... There he is, our little mate. Let's just come back to pay us another little visit. Thank God for the rope body standing by, otherwise we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do my best to film this for you folks, but we got a, excuse me if the uh, pronunciation isn't 100%, but a Chunuk. Yep, where that's been or where it's coming from, who knows, but uh, serving our armed forces proud. There we go. Didn't expect one of to fly over us today. Right. Let's get back to the fishing. Well, here we are again with, I don't know, about the 10th cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> we need it today to keep warm. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's officially rubber stamp, mate. Mm. Roller. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We haven't even had an indication on any of the rods, so... And, uh, apologies if this little section of the blog is, uh, is not as good a quality as uh, the rest of it, because I'm low on the battery on the camera, and, uh, and everything's just getting that cold. Uh, my phone's saying it's fully charged, and I've only just put the charger on. I've got a bit of a, a green line on the screen on the camcorder, and it's, uh, cold, 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 mate. It is. I'm... I'm more or less shivering here, and I've got that many layers on. No. My feet have been like blocks of ice all day. And it's... We shouldn't have bothered. But we've been out, we've done it. I did say to the lads at work, like, yeah. if, it, if I came here today and it was froze, I was going to bugger off, but... Mm. I don't know, with me and you, I think it's just... We enjoy you, each other's company. Well, well not just that. We, we, we can't turn up at a cart lake and, um, and not... No. Get the rods out, you know, even if it's it's got ice on it. I mean, we was debating on going possibly to Drake. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, but by the time we'd have like got back in the car, back on the road, uh, we'd have been around about like half seven, eight o'clock, rush hour traffic. Yeah. Got there for, I don't know, nine, half nine ish, yeah. if we were lucky. And there's no guarantee that that wasn't froze. And the, well, that's what we thought. We thought if this is froze, we could go all over there and that could be froze. A lot deeper, obviously, so potentially the. Should have been somewhere fishable on there, but we've battered a bit of a couple of pegs out here and give it our best shot. But um, looks like it's sort of um, drew the blank again, unfortunately. But well, it's had some effort, but um, never know. There's half hour left, possibly yeah. the um, best half hour of the day. Let's hope. So, um, about four o'clock now, is it? Yeah, so um, yeah, we thought we'd just do this little piece while we got um. Some uh, some reasonable uh, daylight left, but yeah, I don't think anyone can fault our effort, mate. No, that's it, and hopefully um, I've got one day left yeah. holiday floating before the end of uh, March. So you're going to say that till about June, aren't you? No, we've got to have it before the end of March. <laughs> so let's oh. hope um, we can come down and throw it where we want to throw it next time. <laughs>